Hey guys, Andy B. Julia here, and I'm doing a Vogue documentary. Before we start, I'd like to thank Deirdre and Jimmy for letting me use the ground today. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, so enough for me. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, Andy B. Julia here, and today I'm bringing you Vogue documentary. You would have seen the intro, so. This is why I support Bohemian Football Club. It started on the 26th of October 2012. Before that actually, because a bit of insight. I was watching Shelburne versus Shamrock Rovers on the telly one day as a 10 year old, I was, with my dad. And mainly just to wind him up, I started saying, come on Rovers, I did. And well, let's just say he wasn't best pleased with it. So he kind of brought me here to, you know, try and get me into a club. And yeah, so this is this is why I support Bohemians. So my first ever game was Bohemians versus Drogheda United. It was it was a very good Drogheda team. On the last day of the 2012 season, we kind of got back and forth, but it wasn't brilliant. But we did score a goal, and the second that goal went in, the crowd just erupted, and it's something I'll never forget because from the second that goal went in, I was a Bowles fan. There was nothing that was going to change that. Yeah. Uh, let me show you where I first sat. Go. Oh. This is exactly where I sat. What a view. Pole slightly in the way, but who knows. This is where I sat. And I want to say it was that goal we scored in, because it was a curse for that goal. But yeah, and, and the second it went in, oh, we're mad. Brilliant. Never forget it. Right, so this is where Bowls fans will come in and out. You can come from here, you can come from there into the ground, and you can. And well, yeah, so on match days, it does get very packed here. It gets the buzz though, so it's good. And yeah, usually last season and seasons before, this is where season tickets and members would go through. But since this is now both are only season ticket holders and memberships. All of these are used for that, so yeah. I tell you what, Kelly didn't have to do this. So, I've also been asked a few times what makes Daily Mount Park so special to me and everyone else who comes here. This ground Ireland played in from the early 1900s to the 1980s until Longtown Road was you know used for Ireland games but this is where they used to play so that's history is big in my opinion for the club and well also the other things that make it so special is the songs we have before the games we have Hold Me Now by Johnny Logan that won the Eurovision uh, every time the game's about to start they play it get the fans hyped up get the players hyped up after we win every game, just show the steps there. Every time Bowles win after a game, the hold me now, not hold me now, Bowles man is played. And going down those steps with Bowles man being played is the best feeling in the world. Because you know you've won, you've gotten a good win, and it's a great beat. Yeah. So another few questions I get asked is who's the best player I've ever seen play for Bowles? and who's my favourite ever player to play for Bowles. The best player, in my opinion, to play for Bowles is Jason Byrne. The amount of goals that fella scored was incredible. I know he was older by the time I started watching, but he was incredible that the amount of goals he would get, unbelievable. And, you know, I think he played for Ireland for a bit, so yeah, that's good. My favourite ever player is Stephen Beatty. Now, you might think this is weird because Stephen Beatty only played a year for Bowles. He did. After every game as a kid, I would go to him and we would have a talk. It would be great. 
I also personally, you know, personal life, you know, when my dad died, Stephen Beattie was very good with me. The cork shirt I have, which I'm going to try and get an image up for you now, um, that's his cork shirt. He gave it to me after Bo played cork uh, a few weeks after my dad died. Never forget things like that. And yeah. So now we're going to talk about my favourite ever moment for Bowles ever in this stadium. Because I could say that beating PAOK at the Aviva was incredible, and it was, it was unbelievable. But I'm not going to say that that was my best moment because it was there. The Waterford semi final that Bowles got to the cup final was up there. But my favourite ever moment is few Rovers wins I've seen. It has to be the fir very first one, when both beat Rovers 1-0. Because we were fighting relegation, and we had to, you know, we needed results, we did fast, or else we were going down. We scored very early in that game, sort of parked the bus, kind of, and held on for a 1-0 win. It was my first ever win as a Bowes fan, ever watching it here in this stadium. It was incredible, it was. The place just erupted and we stayed up by two points that season. So if we had lost that game, we'd have gone down. So, yeah. So, the final segment of this is what do I think the future for Bowes and Dalyman Park is like. Now, as you can see, we've had the mono stand now, which is our new away end, which is, you know, very big because that used to be our runaway and it did last season but now that is so there's more room for home fan they're doing that stand up i believe not really sure but i i i i'm i'm useless with the sort of stuff so but yeah that's basically and um, for both expectations i have i feel like we have to win a trophy before 2030 we do we have to because this club has got nearly 20 years without winning anything. I also would like to see, this is probably slightly unrealistic, both play either in the Europa League or the Conference League in the actual group stage. That probably won't happen, but I, I think it is possible because Rovers have done it, the Dark have done it. It's not completely out in the blue. I think both could do it because we're on the up, so yeah.